Hi guys, this is Amar. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on and BGP troubleshooting ticket. And in this uh, BGP troubleshooting ticket, what we are going to focus is this particular problem statement. That is the IBGP neighborship between router R3 and router R4 is not coming up. So this is the problem statement. So you can see over here that uh, have this two routers uh, that is R3 and R4 which belongs to AS300 and the uh, IBGP that is the internal BGP between them is not coming up uh, they are the IBGP neighbors because uh, they belong to the same autonomous system that is autonomous system 300 so that is why they are the internal BGP neighbors to each other. But the neighborship is not coming up and that is the problem statement. So we need to troubleshoot this ticket. So what I've done is I've already taken the console of uh, both the routers R3 as well as R4. So we'll first check on, uh, on R3 and then we will check on R4. So the basic command to check the BGP neighbors status is show IP BGP summary so here you can see that uh, router r3 have two neighbors so this is router r3 so it have two neighbors one is 4.4.4.4 which is r4's loopback interface so the point to be noted here is that it is r4's loopback interface so we are forming the ibgp neighborship with r4 loopback interface so this is the loopback interface and uh, which is uh, you know the state the state is active means it is actually down it is not up active means it is down and uh, it is not up you can see in there. and uh, you can also see the uh, AS number is 300 which is correct but it is down you can see the other neighbor that is 13.1.1.1 .1 which is this particular is router R1 and that is up since 11 minutes and 4 seconds but this particular neighborship is down this one and we need to troubleshoot it so now let's check on R4 what is the status over here show IP PGP summary and you can uh, check over here that uh, the neighborship with R3 that is 3.3.3.3 again the point to be noted here is that we are also using R3's loopback interface to form the IBGP neighborship so this loopback interface uh, belonging to AS300 which is R3 again and uh, it is down it is idle idle it's down so uh, you can see it is down since 8 minutes and 14 seconds so it is basically it is down uh, you can see here the, the other two relationship or other two neighborship uh, one is with r2 that is up the other one with the r6 is down but our focus is not to troubleshoot this issue but our focus is to troubleshoot ibgp in this particular video so we'll focus on that so uh, there are two troubleshooting steps i will say uh, primarily whenever you face such kind of issues the very first thing is that you can check the configuration overall configuration how it is whether you have done everything properly or not and the other thing which you can check is the layer 3 connectivity between this uh, between this ips between this loopback interfaces because we are using the loopback interfaces so we need to check the uh, reachability between this loop and interfaces. Let's first uh, check the configurational stuff of this uh, BGP configurational stuff of both these routers. I'll keep it side by side over here and I will check it. Show run section. BGP. So by this command you can check the BGP configuration uh, related to this particular router. Now we can check the stuff over here. Let's check it on R4 as well. Show run section BGP. So 
this is on R4. You can check uh, this both these routers are in AS300 that is good. Uh, we'll focus on this configuration and here on this configuration. So you can see uh, neighbor 4.4.4 the IP address is absolutely correct. Remote AS300 that is correct. So here also you can see neighbor 3.3.3 remote AS300 absolutely correct. Uh, description doesn't matter uh, but it is correct. Again, here the neighbor 4.4.4 update source loopback 0 is mentioned over here. And here also the update source is mentioned as loopback 0. I'll just check what are the IP addresses of loopback 0. Loopback 0 is 3.3.3.3, that is fine. And show IP into brief. Okay, here also 4.4.4.4, .4 .4 .4 .4 that is fine. So uh, basically the uh, meaning of this particular command uh, and the importance is that uh, we are saying to this neighbor that to this particular router that, that the neighbor 4.4.4.4 for this neighbor, the BGP packets should be sourced from loopback zero because by default BGP packets are sourced from the outgoing interface and here if you check on r3 the outgoing interface is e2 slash 1 because it's going towards r4 so it is e2 slash 1 so it, it should not be e2 slash 1 it should be loopback 0 which is 3.3.3.3 slash 32 so it should be that so that is what is mentioned over here which is correct configuration uh, and why it is not able to reach let me ping from r4 the layer through reachability okay not able to ping and here also I'll check I'm able to ping uh, router 4 from here but I'm not able to ping this router it's very strange uh, able to ping 4.4.4 .4 but not able to ping 3.3.3 .3. so why is not able to ping show IP route I will have a route for 4.4.4.4 yes I have a route for 4.4.4.4 which is pointing towards uh, the next hop is 35.1.1.5 which is a router 5 because the packet will go from here and then the ping will go from here to R5 to R4 that is correct but that is correct but let me check the route to here. I'm not able to ping from here. So let me check why I'm not able to ping. Show IP route 3.3.3.3. Oh, it is not. We're not having a route for 3.3.3. Guys, basically, I'm using EIGRP AS100. I'm basically using EIGRP as IGP uh, for this autonomous system. This is an internal network, so I'm using EIGRP. Uh, let me check the configuration of EIGRP on both the routers. Let me check on R3 first. Show run section EIGRP. Okay, so router EIGRP 10, I've taken as ASS 10, that is fine. I have advertised this network. These are the four loopback interfaces we can see over here. And the last one is 35.1.1.0, which is this link. That is fine. But I have not advertised the loopback. That is the reason why I'm not getting a route over here. You can see over here that show IP route EIGRP. You can see I'm getting each and every network of R3. I'm getting 30s network, every network, but I'm not getting the three network. Okay. So that is the issue whereas you can see over here the configuration i might have advertised 4.4.4.4 that is the reason why we are able to ping from r3 mm -hmm. section eigrp yes okay so what i'll do is now i just ping 3.3.3.3 maybe 200 and I'll configure over here see guys I'm not able to ping over here right router EIGRP 10 network 
थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री दी वाइल्ड कार्ड मार्क्स विल बी स्लैश थर्टी टू सो इट विल जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो प्लस एंटर एंड एस एबल टू सी दैट वी आर एबल टू पिंग इट द बी जी पी नेबरशिप ऑल्सो Let me check over here. Uh, Show the BGP summary. Yes, the BGP membership is up, and here also it is going to be up. Here also it is up. So guys, uh, we should have the layer three connectivity between these two uh, interfaces. Basically, uh, the reachability of layer three is very important because. Uh, BGP of of a BGP the TCP session because BGP works on a uh, TCP port number one seventy nine. So the layer three reachability between this uh, two IPs which we are using uh, have to be there. You you have to have the reachability, and then and then only you will be able to form the BGP membership. So guys, in this video, I want to show you only this much. Uh, I'll bring up uh, more videos on troubleshooting, uh, maybe with the same scenario but with a different. Uh, Uh, different problems, uh, different problem statements, and we will try to touch uh, BGP uh, troubleshooting uh, skills in a different way. So I'll stop you guys. Uh, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel. Uh, please uh, give appropriate uh, comments and uh, like. Or uh, please do like the videos also. Uh, so guys, I'll stop here. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. Oh, oh, oh.